the dynamic, the speed, it's incredible. Welcome back pilots. This video is gonna be a small review of the Volt 4 that I bought a couple of months ago. I've now got this many hours on it. And just the other day I flew my Cure, the first version um, at Harting. And I think that, personally, is when you really get a heads up on how good the new glide you've been flying actually is. So before I got my Volt 4, I'd been flying my Cure for about 135 hours. Absolutely loved it. It's a high C. And I went onto that from my base, which I went onto from my Epic. My thinking was, go from one wing to the next. That was designed by the same person with the same criteria in mind and hopefully very similar flight characteristics as you go along. So very little is changing other than performance and the obvious, if there's a collapse, it's going to be a little bit more dynamic. And I was actually saving up for the Cure 2 and then just when I had that a right amount of money to find myself a second hand one, I was offered the Volt 4, brand new, for a really good price. Naturally I had to snap it up because it is the first one on the market sea level glider but with two liners i've been flying the cure a lot on bar a lot of half bar getting used to rear riser controls with the cure there's no bc steering so anything you're doing off the rear riser you're breaking the wing profile and really there's not much steering in it from what i tried but you can hang off the seas when you're looking after pressure inside the wing avoiding any collapses so having a two-liner was a clear step up because it actually changed the angle of attack. So having flown my Volt for that many hours and then going back to the Cure for a day, I went to the set it all up. It's going to be my winter hack. Um, all the differences really jumped out. Now with the Cure, it's a bit difficult to do a fair comparison. And obviously I'm only doing it from my point of view. Other people have got way more experience than other wings. But from my point of view, the difference between the two sea gliders was quite obvious. Now the Cure is a medium large. That's 90 to 110 kilos. And I was flying that at around 103 right in the middle. So we've got a bigger wing because the Volt 4 I'm flying is an 88 to 103 kilo range. I believe that puts it slightly smaller size but then I was able to do the smaller size because I managed to get a lighter wing in the first place lighter harness to go with it and the rest of my weight saving so it's a smaller wing so that's again a difficult way to tell you what the actual differences are but from my point of view the differences were quite obvious the cure larger wing higher aspect ratio flappy wing tips on launch if it's light winds and you're trying to control the wing it's very easy on the cure to be getting small cravats and the wing tips folding in tucking themselves up having to sort that out before you launch flying you'd find that in a bit of turbulent air because of bgd's designs you get flappy wing tips and that's it communicating the condition of the air to you now they, <laughs> they were obvious they don't become really obvious until you step back to it where i'm flying the vault lower aspect ratio it's a smaller wing obviously and the wingtips aren't designed to flap around and give you that sort of feedback so straight away just from those small things it just feels like so much more solid wing on top of that it's a two-liner and they are solid again so it's like a double whammy of solidness in this wing that just wants to behave. With the confidence that that gives you, the increased simplicity in ground handling, going on a bar while flying a side wing, it's almost worlds apart. Don't get me wrong, I still like flying the Cure. It's gonna be a good winter hack. But while I'm not flying it, I'm gonna miss the Volt 4 because it's just so confidence inspiring so simple to fly 
and this whole jump to the two-liner. It makes sense. If anyone is at C-class or even at high B-class, think about moving up to a C-class, I would 100% tell you that really you should be looking for a two-liner. It is worlds apart, so much better, confidence inspiring, better behaving. This is obviously not taking into account any sieve, frontal collapses at speed, increased speed, two-liner, supposed to be more dynamic, still falls within that C category. There are going to be plenty of people that disagree with me, but the people I'm aiming this kind of feedback to are people in the same situation as me. I hope this helps. If you're thinking about changing your wing, maybe coming down from a D class, whether that be two liner free, or if you're at high B and you're thinking about coming up to C, get a two liner. There are plenty of companies now coming out with new versions. You've got the Gin, they're going to be coming out of their C class glider. Uh, there's, there's plenty, I think all of them are looking at it. BGD haven't said anything official. We'll see what their new Lynx 2 is going to be doing. Probably a 2.5 line, I reckon. I, I can't see why they'd be trying to make one that's a completely different wing plan to the Cure 2 if they weren't changing the line plan as well. Buy one, you won't regret it. You'll absolutely love it. Just obviously, at the beginning, go to familiar sites in nice conditions, get used to it. It's going to encourage you to go hands up. It's going to encourage you to be on the rear risers. And it's just going to make flying a little bit more enjoyable. One other thing about my Cure versus the Volt 4 is that I've also noticed that this is far more dynamic. Try and wing overs or wing unders because I'm not brilliant at them. The Cure is a little bit slower to turn, a little bit slower to build up speed and energy. And it's quite easy to stay on top of controlling the wing. I found just trying it a couple of times on the Volt 4 that it goes into the wing overs so much quicker. So much, so much more energy, it swings around. I want to be able to do some reasonable wing overs on the Volt 4, but the dynamic and speed, it's incredible. So until next time guys, I will see you up in the air.